Hi friends, happy Saturday. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So today is my 35th episode of Saturday Morning Makes hosted by Jill Norwood here on YouTube. I'll put all the information in, in the um, description box below, so be sure to check that out. And hopefully you can uh, join in one way or, or another by video or pictures or whatever um, and play along with us here. And also um, check out what everybody else has created by searching the hashtag Satmorn Makes. All right, I am ready to get started and I have some, I think, really fun projects to show you today. So um, I've been having a lot of fun um, altering some of Tim Holtz's paper dolls. Now, I'm not sure which bag I pulled the paper dolls that I have to show you today from, but I've got two, I've got these two, and I think still another maybe one or two bags of these different paper dolls. Um, this one says Halloween. This one just says paper dolls. Um, so there's lots of them in there. This one has 107 pieces, and this Halloween one says it has 61 pieces. And some of them have the same um, dolls in them, but that's okay. So anyway, I used um, these, and I used uh, one or more things from this package, which is the Halloween 2023 um, package of ephemera. Lots of fun stuff in there. Um, I used pieces from this sticker book uh, for Halloween 2023. And so um, I used a picture here. I used words. Um, what else is in here? I just love the stuff in here. I used a mask. I used a hat fun, fun things. I love um, making creepy, fun Halloween stuff. <laughs> Not gory, just creepy. Okay, and I also used these papers from Whimsy. I just think these are such awesome picture, or papers, and so I used uh, one of these. There's two of each design in here. And the other one I used was this one here. So there's six by six papers and you get two of each. It's called Nevermore if you go looking for it. Very fun. All right, so let me show you what I made. Now you saw this paper doll before. I think I I showed her after I got her skirt on and stuff. Um, but I hadn't done anything with her yet. Oh, the little pumpkin is from My Creative Time. And let me see if I can grab the set that I used. It's this little pumpkin right here and there's a separate little piece for the handle and it's the Ginger Boy and Girl Costumes number two. So these are things that go with one of her gingerbread uh, doll dies. Okay. Oh, so I, I also used one of the skulls and I put it up kind of on a post that I think is there or a ledge. And there's a little bat there that is just like, um, you know, from like a sequin mix. I used some of that black kind of spider web stuff that you get at Dollar Tree. I um, frizzled the ends of my tool with my heat gun very carefully. <laughs> I used one of those spider rings. I cut the ring part off and glued it on there. They, those come from Dollar Tree. And then I put a little bow on her skirt. And this is, a, I love crows. Oh, I got the coolest crow shirt today. Anyway, this is like a button only it's not a button it's an embellishment there's no um there's no back on it that you have to snip off or anything 
I think this came from Michael's. I think it was a Recollections. I already put it away or I'd show you the package. And then there's that paper from Whimsy. The tag that I used is um, oh, a Julie Nutting. Um, it's from one of these tag pads. I just love these. They're chipboard. And so I just, um, I cut them to whatever length I want for what, you know, the project that I'm going to make. So that is where my tag came from. And the back I just inked up there. So I thought that turned out pretty fun and creepy. An uninvited guest doing her best to conceal herself. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so that was one. Now, this next one, I absolutely love how it turned out. So, I just used a piece of um, cardboard, basically. I think this is one of those kind of thicker pieces that comes in your package of 12 by 12 papers. A lot of times, you know, in the back of behind the papers. So, I just cut it down to 6 by 6. I used the whole sheet there of that um, paper out of the whimsy pack this was from the ephemera pack that i showed you um, the picture frame was empty and so i put that photo in from the that was also from the sticker book the halloween one and here is my doll i gave her a witch hat I gave her a fancy gold skirt and that gold ribbon I picked up at Craft Warehouse uh, last weekend. Multi, multi craft, that's the um, information there. And it was pretty fun ribbon, I thought, to be able to do the layers for her skirt. I also gave her a crow. It's a little different crow than the other one. This was from the ephemera pack. These are from Momenta, these little metal doodads. And this ribbon, I think, was ribbon that was on a flower arrangement, um, probably that my husband sent to me at one time. It's, it's a very lightly wired ribbon. Oh, I just was so tickled with how this turned out. And I will most likely keep this because I just think it's creepy and funny. <laughs> and I like it. All right. So that was those two projects. And my last project here, I will put the information to um, where I found this in another person's YouTube. It's using um, white envelopes like these letter ones here and I tell you I did not have the easiest time just finding white envelopes like this they either had the um, security stuff printed on the inside and I didn't want that because then it it can show and I so I didn't like that or they um, had that plus they had self sealing and so they didn't come down like this and I just wanted the standard envelopes finally found them at by Mart here in Oregon um, so you know I don't know we're kind of limited where I live um, for shopping so anyway the base of this little pouch is uh, two let's see one envelope and these papers here I got from um, Amazon and I believe I showed them previously and then this ribbon was just from my stash it was just the right color 
so I used the papers also, you know, on the back and here and here. And then inside here, there's another envelope that creates this little, these pockets. It's just one more envelope folded. You seal it, fold it in half, just barely cut the end off to create that and kind of glue down the middle. Use a little circle punch to make your little thumb notch there. Super easy. And then inside are these cute little paper clip things that you can put in a journal, use as a bookmark. They've got a little pocket here. Um, so you can slide whatever you wanna slide in there. Extra little ephemera pieces, maybe little journaling spots if you're giving it to somebody who actually likes to journal. Uh, you could stick a photograph in there. You could put money in there. <laughs> you could do whatever you want. Um, but then the clip is in there so that it won't come out. So I did that one. I wanted them each to be kind of a different color. That one. This one. And this one. I really liked that design there. And so you can add more envelopes here to make it thicker, but you might, if you do that, um, and when you watch the video, I'll, like I said, I will post the link in the description box below um, to this video. Actually, it's two videos because she did one to show you how to make these and another one to show you how to make the little pocket thing. Anyway, she'll show you what to do if you wanted to make it even bigger to be able to fit more stuff inside. And then I just put a little bit of glue to keep the ribbon in place there. Um, now, closing it up with the ribbon like this was my idea. You can, um, you can do it however you want to. If you want to use something else to um, close it up, you could do one of those things where you have like a little circle here and a circle here and you wrap the, I don't know what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. You wrap the string around them. Um, I'm thinking if you wanted to do that, you would probably attach those things with a brad or an eyelet before you put your outside decorative paper on. So before you put these pieces on, um, well, let's see, that wouldn't work either because you would have to, they need to be on top of that paper, so that wouldn't work. There we go. Oopsie, I think I tied it a little tight. Let me loosen that up a little bit. There we go. But I just thought it was kind of pretty. I liked, I was happy how it turned out. So those are my Saturday morning make makes projects for this week. I hope that you get a kick out of them, even if Halloween isn't your cup of tea. <laughs> oh, you could put tea bags in there too, by the way. All right, so be sure to go check out what other people are creating, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.